Scary. Ah, very scary. So after a beautiful, wonderful, long, philosophical breakfast with uh, the lovely family Gerards, Katja, Andy, and the twins, Paul and Paula, um, we went to the church in Niederhosenbach, which is supposed to be the place, uh, at least that is what they think, that is the place where uh, most likely Hildegard is born. And in this church, there is a copy of the Shivias, this great work in a nutshell that she uh, wrote. She had, she started to have visions uh, when she was almost 43 years old and she described all of these 42 visions into the Shivyas. Um, she said herself that she had no knowledge of the words, uh, that it was like a fiery light of tremendous intensity that penetrated her brain from a clear sky. All of her heart and chest were set on fire, not burning, but warm as the sun heats an object on which it shines. That is how she describes herself. Uh, these visions in which she suddenly understood the deeper meaning of the scriptures, the Psalms, the Gospels, and the Catholic, Catholic books of the Old and the New Testament. Um, it's very interesting that these visions are um, in, uh, you can see them along the Hildegard path uh, on these uh, 42 panels that are spread along the way. And then you can, you can stop there, you can meditate or you can read them. Um, and meditate about her questions that she's asking you along uh, the way, the, along your walking. So that was a very long morning. And after that, we went on from Niederhosenbach to Kiern. Uh, luckily, we already had uh, done three kilometers yesterday from that path. You know, we had a really long walk yesterday. And so today it was not that bad. It was not that long, but we started really late and the sun was incredibly burning very much. Uh, luckily, it was mainly through the woods. Every once in a while we got out of the woods and here and there um, we also walked uh, along these uh, these little streams where obviously I, I really had the idea that I was in medieval time. I could really under i could imagine uh people uh, searching for gemstones and um yeah little villages there in medieval time so beautiful beautiful forest and uh after a walk of around 13 kilometers we arrived in kiern we stayed there at fraulein für Fraulein Führ has a house full of knickknacks. She was very kind to us and uh, she made us a beautiful breakfast in the morning. A uh, little candle, uh, a view on, on the mountains. Uh, it was wonderful. Uh, in the evening I had to go back to uh, have a meal in the center, in the city center, because she was only guest house like uh, a bed and breakfast, but it was not that far walking and you could take an elevator uh, to cross the railway track and the Na, the river.
that lovely moon. Bye.